Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that's one way to spawn in the game. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Oh my goodness. Well, hmm. That's not what you want to see when you're starting off. Well, um, hey everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to the Slavarian Trucker. Oh my goodness, I gotta get out of here kind of quickly. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just, as you can tell, I just spawned in. Oh my goodness, I'm being, like, ravaged by, by wild dogs here. I mean, we still have one kind of back there on the truck. Uh, they don't seem to be following us. I think they kind of got stuck on those cars there. So let's get a little bit of speed, uh, by concrete or whatever you are. And let's try giving him a little bit of a bonk here. Come on. Okay, I think we took one out. Got two more, but they're really, really stuck in there. I don't know if it would actually be safe for me to get out. But gosh darn it, I want that car, so we're going to risk it. Might be a horrible decision, but we're going to go for it. Okay, that's one of them down. So this air rifle actually is working. Could have sworn I tried it out last time, and it did not seem very effective. Oh, man, I got really lucky that they got stuck in that little area there. Oh, okay. Crisis averted. Jeez, that was way too terrifying. <laughs> Hold on, what if I put this in my inventory? Ah, oh, I can't, okay. Because I think we need the old knife to kind of get the meat and whatever. Okay, that's most of the stuff loaded up. Uh, I mean, there's still quite a bit of furniture and some barrels and whatnot, but honestly, I don't think I have too much more room here. Plus, I'm still kind of wanting to go to that boat from last time just to kind of check out. I'm sure there's going to be dangerous animals there or something, but I think it'll be kind of cool. Also, I didn't go to sleep because um, I'm a little worried the, the wolves might respawn. And oh gosh, this poor Lado is going to kind of break into a million pieces by the time we actually get back to town. Again, that might be a really fun car to kind of modify. Maybe just put on four of those giant tires and one of the engines from that shop. Seems like it respawns pretty quickly. I'm also a little bit curious if um, I'm getting in trouble back at town because of the dogs. And then I think we do have some uh, illegal items on us. So we'll kind of see what happens. I mean, we have enough money that even if we get fined, I don't think it should be too bad. Gosh, where the heck is that boat? Wait, there's like two of them, right? Yeah, there's one kind of inland over there. And then the one we saw over there, right? Hmm. So I don't think there's quite really a, a path to that one. Okay, I guess we do have to do a bit of off-roading today. Okay, but what do we got over here? I mean, obviously, clearly a boat. Let me try to position my truck in a way that I could get out kind of quickly in case things go, go kind of bad here. Let's uh, leave it in first gear and maybe running for now. And let's have a quick little snack. I think, yeah, we have a pork can. Oh, okay, cool. It didn't actually completely go through the ground. Maybe I should go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, let's go to sleep so it's a little bit nicer and clearer for us. Yeah, now we can see way better. Ooh, that's kind of promising. A little red trunk there. Watch there just be like a bear in here. That'd be absolutely terrifying. Oh, but these might be really good ways to just get a lot of crude oil. Yeah, these are kind of like, uh, what do you call them? Like tankers, sort of? Ooh, this is pretty cool. Uh, obviously not too much up here, but man, we got some hops. We could just jump up a side of the boat here. I mean, obviously there's not stairs, but little ramps, sort of. I don't know if I could actually walk on them. Oh, okay, we can. Just a weird angle. Anything in, like, the captain's area? Need some binoculars. Lots of money. I'd be cool with either. But yeah, not too much up here. So I'm kind of assuming the other one's probably going to be the same. You know, just lots of oil. But uh, let's check out some of those parts, because um, I think we're still missing, obviously, quite a bit for the, the Lado, I think it's called. Got some rust parts here, radiator, and obviously a little door. Anything else over there? Not really, just a, a ton of oil, which I think doesn't sell for a whole lot, but I mean, it kind of adds up. You know, get enough of it. There also seems to be something in the water. Oh, it's a crocodile. That's what it was. Ooh, okay. 
Got to keep an eye out for that. Okay, let's see if we can put some of these on the, the car here. I just wish I had more inventory space, but it's already kind of full of most things. Okay, let's put that there. I think this is uh, for the Poloski. Yep, <laughs> that does not go there. Or maybe it's for the front. Hold on. Let's see if my toolbox doesn't despawn. Nope, we're good. I mean, yeah, it's clearly not for the car, but um, it'll kind of have to do for now. Just to kind of clear up our inventory. What about the door? Um, well, clearly not. Yeah, it keeps attaching to the back for whatever reason. Okay, there we go. But yeah, definitely not for the car. And hey, I just realized we actually have the exact engine for this car. And this one does seem to need a radiator. So, um, I mean, if we want to, we could just get one of those, right? Ah, uh, we do have the rusty one, which is quite a bit more horsepower. I mean, eh, 25 more just because it's in kind of rusty position. Also, I think my game's a little bugged. I can't seem to put stuff back in my inventory when I click I, which is a little unfortunate. Oh gosh, I'm just unloading more stuff and cannot put it away. Okay, I guess we're going to have to repair some stuff, which, hey, that kind of works out. That was at 21%. Did that go down just because the dogs were attacking it? I got the feeling that might have been it. Okay, well, that's used. Um, gosh, I don't want to lose any more of this stuff, though. How are we doing on gas? Yeah, sure, we'll fill up just in case it goes, like, flying off the edge. Okay, that's nice and filled up. And, yeah, I really wanted to take some more of those um, barrels of crude oil. But, again, the inventory thing is just kind of not working out for me right now. Don't know why. It did let us put that kind of hood in there for a couple seconds. But, oh, well. At least we know where everything is. It's honestly not too far from Komsadrinsk. So let's go ahead and make our way over to the other ship, kind of over there. Still keeping an eye on that crocodile. I'm assuming maybe there's another one at the other one. Okay, I think I might have done goofed. Um, There really isn't a good way to those islands, right? I think I have to cross that very, very narrow area right there. I was kind of hoping those islands, but even then, I think there's a little bit of a gap between those two over there. Let's see, I might just have to walk it. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. Okay, let's just park it up here and hold on. Was there always a car over there? Did I miss that last time or is it like the police kind of waiting for us because we have all these goods? Oh, it might be like some sort of police checkpoint. Hmm, that's a little concerning to say the least. Well, let's go check out this island. Oh, only get 10 seconds of breathing. That's how it works. Okay, well, I'm, luckily I could just kind of jump up every couple seconds. And yeah, that wasn't too deep there. No crocs, right? That's the one thing that's kind of terrifying right now. Okay, here's boat number two. Seems to be very, very similar. I think it honestly might be the exact same thing. But gosh, look at that guy there just waiting in the water. Okay, let's head down again. Kind of expecting just crude oil. Maybe a couple car parts. That'd be kind of nice. This one's a lot harder to navigate because it's way more tilted. A little worried I might get stuck in here. And then the croc kind of gets to me. But gosh, I think we have to head to that side to check out kind of the main hole. Oh, nope, he's coming. Gosh, that guy's quick. Okay, maybe we could lure him around this side. We kind of go around and check out the bottom. I think he actually might be ever so slightly faster than me. Oh, I think I got him pinned there. Okay, okay. We might have a couple seconds just to just to take a quick, quick look. Let's see. I don't even know if this one's open. Okay, it is. What is there? So obviously more crude oil or barrels of something. Uh, we can kind of jump up here. What are you? What are you? What are you? Actually, it seems kind of almost exactly the same. Yeah, it's like the hood and trunk. Oh, gosh, that's terrifying. Just seeing a, a foot there. Is my inventory working now? Gosh, I really wish it was. But nope. Okay. Well, those was worth kind of just checking out for fun. Now to try to make my way back to the car. Okay, Croc is still pretty hot on our tail there. Now to cross the water. Get in our truck and hopefully be on our way. I'm kind of debating if I should um 
maybe really try to go around the the officer there. Okay, get in the car, get in the truck, get in the truck. Oh gosh, got stuck on the ledge there. Get in, get in, get in. Ooh, okay, I think we're mostly safe, hopefully. Let's go. Oh, that's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Part of me kind of wants to run it over, but uh, yeah, how about no? I just don't really have the room here to do that. And is that an officer? Gosh, I think it is. So let's let's go this way just to be a little bit extra safe. I think either way, though, as soon as we head into town with anything illegal, they kind of bust us. Let's see. Let's try going around here a bit. Is it an officer? Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, let me know down in the comments if he was there last time, because I, I do not recall him being down there. I could have sworn it was a solo voyage there, you know? Oh, we lost the dog. Oh, all right. Sorry, little buddy. Maybe that's for the best, though, so we don't get fined more. Because I'm kind of thinking maybe we head straight to that little office. Because I think they sell a couple licenses there. I think it might just be for, like, the rifle and stuff, but we'll check it out. Oh, I think... Oh, wait, hold on. Is that another... No, okay, it's just an abandoned car. Okay, so where the heck does this road take you? It might connect to the iron mine. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, kind of through the backside. Maybe that's why we didn't see the guy there. It kind of does seem like maybe there's another drop here, if you know what I mean. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, wait. Flower? Is it actually flower? Is it? <laughs> um, I guess that's legal to take. Sure. Oh, another Ludo engine. This one's 59 horsepower, though. So a little bit less, but sure. Let's just uh, toss that in the back there. Is this actually flower? Seems like a, a weird spot just to leave, you know, flower. It's not another powdery substance, you know? Okay, well, let's not worry about it. Let's just focus on getting back to town and seeing what happens as soon as we enter. So I forgot if it was Saversk, right? The place with the dog races. As soon as we stepped in there, we kind of got fined for, I think, a couple hundred thousand. And this time we have way more stuff. Oh, is that? I think that's an officer right there. Let's see. Let's come over here. Because, again, I do have an item in my inventory. Oh, gosh. Is that just a wild dog, or is it actually tamed? Oh, yep, it's wild. Hey, that was not on me, okay? What am I really supposed to do here? It, it's a it's a danger to society. Gotta call animal control on it, you know? I think that's the dog. That was kind of in that, like, uh, neighborhood over there in their backyard. Oh, illegal drugs! Animal hunter without a license! Uh-oh. Yeah, I should have, uh expected that and yeah they just did straight up take it from my inventory okay but that wasn't too bad um i was kind of worried it was gonna be like multiple finds there but hey what am i supposed to do about this guy if i hunt him it's not on me right okay well let's just drag him out of town i guess is he trained not to okay well i'm gonna run him over don't get mad at me officer that wasn't me Hey, you're not an officer. Okay, let's double check this office here, because I remember them having some stuff here. Oh, firearms license and hunting license. Gosh, they're both so dang pricey. They would leave me with almost no money. I mean, I can't even afford that one, but... Oh, well, hmm. Accidentally fat-fingered F. Gosh darn it. Okay, well, now we have a hunting license, so... I guess legally <laughs> we could grab this, uh, this wild dog here, right? I don't think that was worth it, but, uh, here we are. Only have $4,905 for gas and anything else we might need. And it's not even the weekends that we could do more drag races. I should have really just, like, came here first, bought that, and then had the three dogs. Okay, but at least now we could legally do this. I feel like I just ran over someone's dog, because, again, he was, like, in the backyard of someone's house over there. But it might have just been a glitch. I also like how we're just using this random guy's, uh... Shop as our main base of operations here. We're just dropping off random cars. He doesn't mind, though. We've we've given him some uh, pretty good business, right? I mean, at this point, it's like a, almost a million dollars. 
Okay, why can I not detach this? I saw it for a second. Ah, there we go. Okay. Always finicky. And then let's go ahead and take some of this stuff over to this guy here. I don't know if we could sell the crude oil, but we could definitely sell this. You know, get some of our money back that we lost. Yeah, mostly just uh, pallets and empty barrels. Oh, we can sell those, like, giant metal sheets. Uh, only 2,600, so not a whole lot. Hey, we're back up to 86,000. Gosh, how we've fallen from having a couple million at one point, essentially. Back down to 86,000. But gosh, as soon as those drag races open, I'm getting all my money back and then some. Yeah, I'll just put a giant pile of stuff over here. Gosh, I should have put these wheels on. So you could have ridden a little bit better. I think if I would have done like, you know, front left and then back right, it would have uh, not been so crashed. But again, that fix is after a save or two. So no big deal. What else? Gosh, we have another engine. We have like three there. Jeez, it's a lot of engines. So we had four in total at one point, essentially. And let's try out this spray paint. I think it should be green, right? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Not that any of these parts actually fit the car, but, uh, yeah, kind of interesting. Uh, it's just going to be the body. That's a little finicky to get to. Okay, well, let's just leave that there, go to sleep, and try to find a job in the morning. All right, here we are the next day. I thought we'd take on one of these, uh, jobs over here at the coal mine, or iron mine, or whatever. I really hope, yeah, it has a couple there on the post. I think one of them's obviously to maybe buy the mine outright, and then I think another one should be to deliver some of the stuff. I don't think these pay all that much, but, you know, just to change it up a little. Might be fun just transporting some rocks in the back for a change. You know, try my best not to knock them off or something. What do we got? So, 20 rocks of iron ore to Kompsodrinsk. And then, oh, 30 rocks to Eastport and Kolovi. Gosh, that's, that's really far. This one's, like, just down the hill. Uh, sure, we'll take that. It doesn't pay a whole lot again, only... 10,000. Oh, I should have parked over there. That would have been so easy just to have it all fall in. Okay, well, now we know. Next time we take on a job here, park under whatever that thing is. Yeah, but it's fine. It's not even all that big of a deal. Okay, so this is going to the steel mill. So, yeah, pretty much right where we were earlier with all our car parts. But gosh, this does take quite a bit of space. I think this would be good to have that. Um, I think it's like the blue one. Where it kind of has the raised walls and it's a little bit more curved. I think that will prevent a lot of stuff from falling out. Okay, that's not looking too bad. But gosh, is it really just 10,000 in total or 10,000 per piece? I think it's 10,000 in total. Honestly, I'm kind of regretting this job just a bit because of the pay. Okay, parking brake is off. And I like that every time I enter this area, there's a lightning storm. Ooh, I saw that. That, that uh, piece of iron there in the front left was going to kind of roll off. Oh, they're all just kind of loose back there. Okay, so I can't even just, like, full send it down the hill. I mean, I still will, but, you know, I'll try to be slightly more controlled with it. Yeah, as far as jobs go, shouldn't be too bad. Just got to watch the downhill speed. Not flip over, and I think we're good. Yep, here we are pretty much. It was, like, a minute drive, if that. Let's go ahead and reverse it on in. Nice. Uh, why did I not take those other two? Did I get extra or did they give me extra? Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't really expect too much there. That was a little anticlimactic, but uh, yeah, pretty much just the 10k. Not bad, not bad. Okay, and just because we're over here, how about we try to get the Ludo running? Or just for a little test drive. So we kind of have the same setup as the uh, Poloska. So yeah, I think we'll do a very similar setup. We'll put these uh, small tires in the front and the giant tractor ones in the back. I'm sure that'll be amazing. Yep, yep, yep. I really, really like that look, actually. That's kind of funny. Looks even more ridiculous than this smaller car somehow. Yeah, okay, that's nice and set up there. Uh, we do have an engine in it. I don't know if we should really swap it out. Maybe just try to keep it somewhat stock. But, I mean, we're just testing it out for fun right here, so whatever it gets is what it gets. Okay, moment of truth here. Let's see how this uh, bad boy starts up. Okay, is it just uh, 
key ignition. Is that it? Seems like it. Hey, that wasn't too bad of a startup time there. Okay, first gear. Oh, uh, we're heavily underpowered or weirdly tuned. Hey, it might just be the wheels kind of causing everything to be a little bit weird here. Because, yeah, we're barely getting to, like, 30 or 40. Because the first gear is kind of topping off at what is that? Maybe... Oh, hold on. Oh, it's just, like, really slow acceleration, but we get some decent top speed. So we're definitely geared for top speed and not acceleration here. Again, it might be more so because of the tires in the back. Uh, I'm not too mad with that. I'm also assuming it might be a little bit more fuel efficient because it's a smaller engine because the Poloska goes through that gas incredibly quickly. I don't know if it's just based off the engine or, you know, how fast you're actually driving. But yeah, this is driving very similarly to the Poloska, just uh, not as quick acceleration because it's a smaller engine. Let's go to second gear here. Should have probably waited till I got to the flats. Oh, yep. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so lucky you don't instantly die. I'm crashing into stuff in the game here. Yeah, I think it's just going to take a million years to accelerate, but we could probably have some crazy top speeds if we do a little bit more tuning and maybe slap on a turbo. And surprisingly enough, the turning's actually not too bad. Somehow those smaller tires are making it a little bit easier. Maybe it's just the chassis itself. But hey, pleasantly surprised about this one. Let me double check how much gas it even holds to begin with. Because depending on that, it might be a, a better daily driver. So yeah, 40 liters and we already went through about 3.5 or 2.5 just from there to here. So I think that's a little bit better, maybe. I don't know. Kind of hard to tell with these cars. Let's go back to first gear and put that down. And then obviously we have our eliminator there as well. I think I will bring the Poloska over here and kind of leave it as a drag racing car where we just come over here on the weekends and get filthy rich. Because I think it'd be kind of cool to maybe get some of those uh, buildings like the Iron Mine or wherever else we could just straight up buy. Get some passive income. So I think next time we might just be back into like the regular grind of things. I definitely do want to explore some of the hunting now that we actually have that hunting license. Although we still need maybe the firearms license to get the actual gun from that hunter. But uh... I think that'd be a cool thing to kind of explore next time. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.